Well, good afternoon and a really warm welcome to our crew single service this afternoon. It's really good to be with you. And this, of course, is a service where we think about Jesus who came as a light into the world. But now we begin as we say, Christ has brought us out of darkness to live in, in his, his wonderful, wonderful light. light. Just before we come to our first hymn, just a few words about how this service is going to work. It's a little bit different from the way that we would normally do Chris Stingle. I know that a lot of you have been making Chris Stingles in preparation for this service and we will come a bit later in the service to a point where everybody will light them at the same time and they will be blessed so if you don't have them with you already then I would encourage you to go and and get uh, 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 and get them during this first hymn and then we when we come to the right point in the service we will let you know when we are going to like them but now uh, uh, we will we'll sit sing our first hymn to our Christingle service, in which we celebrate Jesus, the light of the world, 
and the new life and hope he brings, and raise money for and awareness of the work of the Children's Society, who bring light to the lives of young people who are suffering across this country. Today we have an opportunity during our Christingle service to celebrate Jesus, the light, coming into a world of darkness, and to share that light with others. Now we're going to light the Paschal candle. That's this big candle over here. And the Paschal candle is the one that we light for the first time each year on Easter Day, when we celebrate Jesus' resurrection when he defeated the powers of darkness and was raised to new life. We usually light the candle at dawn on Easter Day and to celebrate the light of Jesus. So let us pray. Jesus, Jesus light of the world, shine Christ in this Jesus place. Christ. Jesus, light of the world, shine in our hearts. Jesus, light of the world, shine in our lives. Jesus, light of the world, shine in all the earth. Amen. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine, light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Everybody. and it's lovely to have you join us in the Christingle service. Can you see what I've got? I've got a Christmas present. I don't know quite what it is and I'm going to have to wait till Christmas to open it. But when I get it and I've looked at it, I hope I'm going to say thank you to the person who gave it to me. And in fact, I've got my thank you letters ready. So I'm going to write those because we do have a lot to say thank you for, both at Christmas and all year round, but we especially notice that at Christmas. 
And Christingle services are all about saying thank you. Our Christingles remind us of that. Have you got yours ready? Here's mine. We'll light them later in the service and it will be a very special moment knowing that everyone taking part in this service, wherever they are, will be doing that together. So the Christingle does remind us of things for which we need to give thanks. Let's look at the separate bits. Let's start with the orange. Well, you might ask, why an orange? I don't think really it matters too much, not the colour, although it does remind me of the brightness of the sun which shines and warms the world. But it's the shape that we need to think about. And I think if Dom can show us a picture, that will help. So, just think how lucky we are to live in a time when we can see pictures like this of our planet. When we see that, we're full of wonder, aren't we? That we're inhabitants of this extraordinary world. So, in our Christingle, we also have cocktail sticks. And they've got sweets and raisins on them. And here's a picture or two to remind us of what they symbolise. Can you see? Abundant crops. I think we've got corn, and would you believe it, broccoli and apples. We could have chosen lots of other things, couldn't we? So ours is not a dead planet, but it's bursting with life. And we are able to enjoy the good things which Earth provides. And that's even more reason to feel thankful. Next is our candle. Well, we haven't lit it yet, but we will, and it will shine, creating light. Think for a moment how important lights are to us when it's dark. Here's a lighthouse. Just think how a lighthouse signals to sailors that there are dangerous rocks ahead and it keeps them safe. And some car headlights. Well, without car headlights, we wouldn't be able to drive in the dark at all, but we can drive safely. And here are some cavers and they've got head torches. And that reminds us that when we want to go exploring in possibly quite risky places, our torches will show us the way. So it's not surprising, is it really, that the candle in our Christingle has been chosen to represent Jesus. Because the Bible does describe him as the light of the world. And that's because he gave people hope and he assured them that they were loved and he proclaimed a way of living which we might call the way of love. If we just look at our orange again, we'll see it has a red band around it. That reminds us that at Easter Jesus died because people weren't ready and willing to hear the truth he spoke. But even that didn't overcome his message and the light which he brought to the world all those years ago is still shining. And here are some more pictures of things for which we can be grateful. These are families and friends sharing good times together. So those of us with families, friends and neighbours have a great deal to thank God for. We may not be able to see them all at the moment, but they're still there. And together we are all connected by a great network of love. Now, we know that some children are going through a tough time. And later in our service today, we're going to remind ourselves that we can help those children through our support of the work of the Children's Society. So at this Christmas time, in this Christingle, we need to vow once more to live 
as lights in the world, to have truly thankful hearts for the gift of Jesus and the good things in our lives, and to share his light and love with everyone. So it's a little bit early, but can I wish you in advance a happy Christmas. Lord Jesus, bringer of light to this world, we pray that your light would shine in us and that as a community, we may reflect your light. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, bringer of light to the vulnerable, we pray for those in need of your care and compassion. Shine your light on those who feel they are living in darkness. May we bring strength to the weary, joy to the downhearted, and peace to those who are restless. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, bringer of light to children and young people. We pray for your young people who are in dark situations. Shine your light on those who feel hopeless, afraid without hope, that they may have a brighter future. May we look to your example, not excluding anyone because of age, but accepting all those we meet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, bringer of light to all the helpers, we pray that you would be with those who support young people. Shine your light on teachers and carers in our community. May they know your blessing upon them. We pray for the work of the Children's Society and all those who support their work with vulnerable young people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. Now, let us say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now come to the point in our service where we are actually going to show you a short video that explains the work of the uh, Children's Society. And, and normally we would do a connection during our Christmas uh, service which would go to support the work of the Children's Society who um, work to support children in need right across the country. Um, but because that's not possible this year, um, we are going to show you a, a video about their um, work. And the, 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 uh, 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 I'm just going to mention um, the two main ways that you can give. The first is to say that a lot of you um, will have received an envelope that looks like this. It's got, it's got uh, banking and payment details on the back and you can fill that in and you can um, you can drop this envelope into church but on the back of this um, tear off slip on the back of the envelope there are also details of how you can do a donation by text um, which you might find useful um, but also if you would like to you can make a donation through the website of the children's society 
Thank you for sharing the light of Chris Dingle and helping disadvantaged children and young people in the darkest of situations. We've all been through a lot this year and unfortunately, disadvantaged young people have been some of the hardest hit by the pandemic. For the young carers who have been shouldered with more responsibility than ever. The young people who have experienced devastating effects on their mental health. Or the missing children who have nowhere to shelter for the night. We need your kindness more than ever. Together, we can rekindle the hope inside these vulnerable children and provide the safety net they so urgently need. Your Christingle donations will help run vital services all across the country, helping children through one-to-one -one counselling and dedicated project workers. You can guide the most vulnerable children to a brighter future. The kindness of Christinglers like you will help bring hope and optimism to the lives of young people. Please give what you can today and let children in this country know just how much they matter. Thank you. Um, we're now going to pray a prayer which has been especially written for the work of the Children's Society. We are going to pray this in church every day. If you would like to pray it, would be able to pray it with us. Disruptive God, in Jesus you confront the misuse and abuse of power, welcoming the least and the youngest, and placing a child at the heart of your kingdom. We ask that you will bless the children and the young people of this generation. We ask that by the power of your Holy Spirit, you will protect, restore and encourage those children who are disadvantaged because of poverty, because of abuse and because of ne neglect. Inspire and guide the Children's Society to be brave, ambitious, supportive and trusted in all its work and to listen, support and act so that no child should feel alone. We pray that you will give us all the grace to be transformed, that we might seek your kingdom in generous service. We ask that we might follow in the example of Jesus, who was holy and humble, and who was our hope and our salvation. Amen. Amen. Now it's time to light our Christingles. If you've lit your Christingles at home, then hold them up as we pray a prayer of blessing. Lord Jesus, light of the world, as we hold this Christingle and think about your great love for us, help us to take this light out into the world and to share your love with others especially those who need it most. Amen. Amen. As we hold our Christingles, we're going to sing 
away in a manger. your candle and go light our world to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 